Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Eagle Politics. Make sure you guys like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So, a few weeks ago I covered this article that basically went in depth and shows that there are some major problems with Pennsylvania Democrats even though they had a decent election victory back in 2022, even though they know it's a very key state for Joe Biden. Democrats there have been saying the party is broke, the apparatus is in shambles, and this could lead to problems either later this year with a state Supreme Court race that's going to be taking place about a month from now, but also on top of that, the presidential race. They have to get this fixed quickly or they're going to be in trouble. And the current governor of the state of Pennsylvania is Josh Shapiro, and he knows this. So he took to swift action to make sure that every time somebody goes and they get their driver's license, they're going to be registered to vote because he's operating under the belief that, oh, well, we're going to use our apparatus. We're going to go bus everyone to the polls. We'll have more registered voters. They think it's going to make things easier for them, which will ease some of the tensions and drama that's going on with the incompetency of the Pennsylvania Democrats. And a lot of Republicans were saying, this is a disaster. You know, we have to fight this, this, that, and the other thing, because they say, well, this is going to lead to Democrats taking advantage of this. But at the same time, there's a lot of room to grow for Republicans too in this state. I don't necessarily subscribe to this victim mentality where, oh, every single law or law change that gets passed is automatically going to be a negative for us. And while I do think that it is true that some of these laws I disagree with. I don't like election month, for example. I don't really like mail-ins all that much. I don't think you should have people voting before the debates. And I think that in an ideal world, you would have one day election voting with you know rare exceptions for people that are like old or whatever. And you would on top of that have paper ballots, etc., cetera, et cetera. And you would have that be the way elections are conducted. But still, because these systems are in place does not mean that we can't take advantage of it. And it seems like the results are in so far. The numbers are in. We've had two weeks since Pennsylvania implemented automatic voter registration. And what it shows is that Republicans are out-registering Democrats by a 10 to 1 margin. This is backfiring big time. And it could backfire if this continues to the point where Pennsylvania is going to be a red state once again in 2024, and it could very well hand Donald Trump the state as part of a crucial, crucial election victory in 2024. So we're going to dive into this a little bit further and explain why this is such a win, why this is such a good thing. But first, I do have to tell you guys about our latest sponsor, over at Gold Mining Inc. because China's real estate bubble is absolutely collapsing. In 2008, when the subprime mortgage crisis nearly ended modern capitalism, housing was 8% of United States GDP, while it's 25% of China's. It's an epic meltdown, and it's just the beginning. Meanwhile, in the U.S., inflation is so high that the Fed is talking about raising interest rates further, choking the credit out of the economy completely. Everything's expensive, and you know that. Gold is perfect for this environment, but it's near all-time highs already, so I want to present a company called Gold Mining Inc. trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker GLDG. The reason is that this is a company that trades at multi-year lows, extremely cheap. Their gold resources are only worth a dollar an ounce. So if you go to wealthresearchgroup.com slash cheap gold, there's an entire presentation explaining how this company is effectively 80 or 90% more discounted than any other company out there. So if you're bullish on gold, I urge you to stop everything you're doing and download the carefully drafted report now. Link is in the description and the pinned comment down below. So this is big news for Republicans. They're doing it. They're taking advantage of it. This is what they've needed to do. And it seems like there's a mentality shift on the right. And we do love to see it because you'll have so many people out there who will say it's all doom. We can't do anything. We're going to lose. And it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. It will be that way if we have that mentality where we're not going to be able to win. 
But if we have the mentality that we're going to be able to go out there and flip the script, then guess what? We're going to have a very good chance at going out there and flipping the script. I'm not saying be overconfident. You know, we're going to have to work for this regardless. We always have to play like we're just a little bit behind so we can go and we can work hard and we can get this thing done. But you're looking at this and it shows that Republicans are actually doing their job. It seems like more people that are registering to vote because of this, they're registering to vote Republican. That is absolutely huge because you talk about this two weeks, you're already netting 2,000 voters. If you get all those voters out, that cuts significantly into Biden's margins there. It does because this is a razor thin state. It was razor thin in 2016 and it was razor thin in 2020. It's likely going to be within 100,000 votes either way once again. And if we're able to go out there and we're able to get people to the polls early, we're going to be able to harvest some of our own the way the left does legally, well, we're going to be able to flip the script. And as a result, down the stretch, the voters we need to turn out ahead of election day will get our voters already voting, some of them early as much as possible, so we don't have to find all of our voters at the 11th hour and then all have them stand in these crowded lines. What we'll be able to do is we'll just be able to add icing onto the cake. We'll get more voters to the polls, obviously, but as a result, that's just going to be what bolsters us, and we're going to be able to utilize our resources more efficiently and more effectively as a result, if we do this, because these are big numbers and it's not guaranteed to stay this way. I'm sure Democrats are going to see their weeks of surging. Okay, well, we got to pit back. We got to have our weeks of surging. And that's the way it is. The Midwest and the Rust Belt is extremely favorable demographically for the Republicans. It really is. This map right here is the map of working class white voters the same voters that propelled Donald Trump to his 2016 victory, the same which are very key to propelling Donald Trump to a 2024 victory. And 2020, the messaging wasn't necessarily oriented in that direction as much as it could have been, but you're seeing a shift for 2024. You're seeing Trump going to the UAW strike. You see Trump talking about a pro-worker agenda, and you see Republicans taking advantage of of the election system, raising turnout in these places, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Who does that exactly help? That helps out the Republicans in the state. And you didn't see that happen in 2022. You saw disappointing election results. Well, you got to flip the script. But Pennsylvania, especially, like even in those Pittsburgh suburbs, that's a decent sized metro area, second largest in the state. There's still room to grow there. It's not all rural versus suburb per se. It's a lot of it is just uh, blue collar white versus white collar white. And you look at it and Republicans need to boost their turnout among those blue collar voters in the state. And if they're able to do that, guess what's going to happen? They're going to win. Biden's not as popular as he was in the state of Pennsylvania back in 2020 even, to the point where if you're able to get your turnout up and you're able to beat them at their own game, obviously you're going to win because it's not even so much about popularity anymore. Who's popular? I'm not saying that doesn't count. I'm not saying it's not a part of it, but you can't view elections the way we viewed elections 10 years ago in 2024. It's one in the trenches, you're going to have to go out there and you are going to have to get it done. You're going to have to harvest your ballots, get people to the polls early, make sure you keep tabs on everybody. And having a bigger pool to work with for Republicans is definitely going to help them. So if these numbers stay the way they are, you're going to see Republicans win because of this. It's going to help them out. It's going to increase their margin of error. And it's also going to increase their margin of victory if they're able to take advantage of it. And on top of it, what it does is it's just like a big backfire. It blew up, it seems, in the Democrats' face. Now, I'm not saying that Democrats aren't going to try to find a way to take advantage of it. I'm not saying we have to slow down, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be this big ordeal where we're going to sit there, we're going to lie down, and we're going to cry about it. No, it doesn't have to be that way because so far, it's working to our advantage. And we just need to do what we could do to boost turnout. You're going to have to inspire voters, but also a lot of it is just the work that we're going to be seeing on the ground, and it will pay off. Biden is in the gutter. He's not popular on all of the issues. He's down 20 points or more. Our country was far better off in 2019 
than it was in 2023 by every single metric. And a lot of people are not really happy with what's going on. Biden's approval rating is falling significantly. Donald Trump is likely going to be the Republican nominee, which means you have a fighting chance in Pennsylvania. And if we see more of this stuff, that's good news. And it also means that Republicans are going to have a much, much better chance in the state, which means they have a much better chance overall. Because you look at the states they need to win, they're going to need to win Pennsylvania. They're going to need to win Wisconsin. They need to win Nevada. They need to hold the 2020 coalition. That's going to be enough for them. They will get there. So hopefully they're able to take advantage of this and they can continue to take advantage of it. But also they, they got to get these voters out to vote because that's what matters. A lot of people also said when this law passed, well, this doesn't matter because they have to vote. And it's true. And that goes for both ways. So we have to get these voters now that are registering Republican out to vote. And that will deliver the final blow to one of the biggest backfires that we've seen in recent memory in politics if this does continue. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this video down below. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media. The links are all in the description down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.